welcome guys to my next channel update um, today I want to show you my completed British Armored Guards these are about 1760 points and you can also play it with 1750 points which is a good size for a late war army and as you can see everything is painted up now and I show you the models in detail in a second just a little overview over here we have our Typhoon fighter bomber there are the uh, uh, column platoon with three brain carriers um, this is the first um, tank platoon with two fireflies and two Shermans this is the HQ platoon with the first and second CNC and then we have the recovery vehicle and uh, additional Sherman. Over here we have the second um, tank platoon, also two fireflies, two Shermans, one Sherman equipped with a 50 cal also on this side and this platoon one Sherman equipped with a 50 cal and also in the HQ platoon. Over here we have two 40mm Bofor anti-aircraft guns and in front we have the um, United States parachute platoon um, all the normal Shermans and the Fireflies and the uh, parachute platoon are from the um, Flames of War starter set the plane is, a plane is from Rival, a very cheap kit and the only uh, resin or metal models in this army are the brand carriers, the recovery vehicle and the two anti-aircraft guns and I show you the models now in detail. So here we have the Typhoon fighter bomber There are the brand carrier platoon. One carrier is equipped with a 50 cal, as you can see right here. Then we move over to the first platoon of Sherman tanks. Two fireflies, two normal Shermans, and one of them equipped with a 50 cal, you can see. Or Sherman so weathered a little bit. Here's the HQ platoon with the first and second additional Sherman with a 50 cal and the recovery vehicle in front. This is the second platoon two fireflies, two Shermans, one equipped with the 50 cal and these are the 4-4 anti-aircraft guns there and there you can see them and in front we have the parachutes Parachute rifle platoon with a bazooka, a mortar over here, and then the rifle squads and the HQ over here. So there you have it, these guys in detail. As I said, these are the models from the starter set, so these are the plastic guys. And <coughs> that's it for my army. Shermans, Brands. So, this is my Flames of War army. Um, I plan to do another army. This time it will be a German army from the Hellfire and Back book. A light Panzer comp light tank company 
and um, I will mainly use models from Svetsta. It's a Russian company which makes uh, very very cheap and very nice um, uh, models in the one, 1 to 100 scale so they are pretty fit pretty well in the Flames of War range and I will mainly use these guys and I will use some models from Battlefront and overall it will be also a 1750 point list um, I will go into detail soon the next project on my painting desk are some more models for my Warhammer Ancient Battles Greeks and maybe uh, maybe some some Eden stuff. I don't know when uh, when I have the time to to build and paint the Eden models, but um, I will show you the models as soon as I build them. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope you like this, and yeah, I'm a little bit proud of this army because this is the first army I own, which. Um, every model that I own for this specific army and system is painted so there is no <coughs> um, other Flames of War model in on my painting desk everything is painted I have I have no no more models so this is cool the first army that I completely painted and no unpainted models left this is very nice. So I also have painted my my, my um, other armies to a playable level, but there are um, some models that are not painted, and this is the first army where everything is painted. So I hope you like this, guys. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Big big thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for watching my stuff, and you are awesome. We see us on the next one. Bye bye.